That was the subject line of my responding email to a man who had just taken me down a long and winding path to nowhere. And perhaps it wouldn't have bothered me so much if this was the first time it happened. But for some strange reason, it was happening so often, it was grating on my nerves. All these men who were otherwise attached in some way. Creating fake and false profiles on these online dating sites, wreaking havoc on unsuspecting single women who just wanted to find a good man. But instead, I was finding players who just wanted to have fun at my expense. And all I wanted was to find the right man for me and date him. That's it. Well, and hopefully find the right guy to spend the rest of my life with. But that wasn't happening because it seems these dating sites are now full of men who are either married or attached or living with a longtime girlfriend. Yes, married men, separated men, attached men. They are filled with men who couldn't possibly build a relationship with a woman because, well, <laughs> they already had one, the woman and the relationship. So when I happened to tell friends about this problem, well, frankly, they didn't believe my stories. But there are so many examples. They're actually starting to believe me now. Like the one who had all these farms and property in my state. He charmed me, flirted with me via email and text. Took me to wonderful dinners and drives by the lake. even played fun music from our high school era, and the two of us sat in his fancy-ass $98,000 car and sang together, giggling at the fun words to bat out of hell. During conversations, he'd look deeply into my eyes and tell me how beautiful I was. He'd talk about our future like it was a given. He even told me on our first date now let's just get this out of the way. I'm filthy rich. Now I've dated men of great wealth many times before, and I've learned a long time ago. This is nothing to be impressed by. I want to know what happens when we start to unwrap that shiny package. Is he a good person? Can I rely on him? Does he want a real relationship or just a fling? I've learned to just listen carefully, observe, smile, and ask questions, and nothing more. In the beginning, I let them do the talking. Because you see, I'm a pretty impressive person myself. I have a bachelor's degree and an MBA. I'm an award-winning author and writer, a speaker and a life coach. I've been featured in newspapers and magazines on television and radio, and I'm not easily impressed. Yet like most divorced and single women out there, I am looking for the last great love of my life. But I also need to know that that person is real, to be who they say they are. So back to Mr. Farms. As time went on, he'd take me to drinks at one place, dinner at another, a drive in between, and dessert elsewhere. He never wanted the dates to end. And for good reason. Because one weekend, when I felt more secure with him, I agreed to go to his home for a dinner he wanted to cook for me. Since it's rare that a man will offer to make me dinner, and I already had done my initial research for him, I felt it was safe to go. Upon arrival, he immediately mentioned how he called his sister to tell her all about his new girlfriend. To which I replied, And who might that be? You, of course, my dear, he explained. My radar went up. Only a few dates? I didn't know this man well enough to be his girlfriend. 
from my initial research. I knew his name, his company, he gave me his address for dinner, but there was more to learn. I put up my hand and said, let's just wait on that, okay? As he proceeded to take me on a tour of his sprawling home on the river, complete with four boats, the largest 40 foot, his luxury car collection, his glorious pool overlooking the river, and more than comfortable home. He pulled together a lovely plate of hors d'oeuvres, and we sat and enjoyed champagne for hours in the living room, just chatting about our lives. His profile said he was divorced with no children, and since I was the same, it seemed a great fit, until I decided to confirm it. So, how long has it been since your divorce? He got up for another bottle of champagne. And all the lies spilled out, the red flags started to fly, and I began to realize he was not the person that he said he was. My initial research was correct, but it wasn't enough. He did have farms. His office was located where I found it, and he had many cars, boats, and things, just as he told me. But it turned out he was never divorced. He was separated for a long while. They were not living together any longer. He had a son in his 30s who felt he was entitled to everything his father could provide. And a stepdaughter from the current wife whom he basically raised since she was a child. He claimed they were best friends and he married this woman for the little girl's sake many years ago. But since he never found anyone he would even consider marrying, he hadn't even thought of divorce. And, of course, it would take an awful lot of money to get divorced since all their business assets were intertwined. Of course. Now, when my own father had successful businesses when I was young, he had put many assets in my mother's name for protection, and I understood that. And I told him so. But ultimately, after listening to all this, I simply sat back, I took in a deep breath, and I told him in a sweet, soft voice, there is nothing here for me. Being someone's mistress was not my style. Sure, it was nice that he could provide a good life for me and had more wealth than most of the men in my state, and I really liked him that I could travel the world and enjoy a wonderful life with him, a lifestyle more than I had known for myself. But ultimately, when he was sick, did I really want to be in the emergency room being told I had no say in his care? Or worse, running into his wife and kids at some point during a traumatic situation? I definitely deserved better. So naturally, when I drove away from his home, and started to realize all the time and energy I had invested in this guy, I was crazed. His profile specifically said, divorced, no kids. And I just hate how men lie thinking somehow we will just mold into their plan. Are they that stupid? And I had to tell myself, well, yes. Now, I wish I could tell you this was the only man who pulled this on me. There was the guy who ran a travel agency, spoke extensively online through emails and chats, and I thought we were a great match. We had all the same things in common. Loved to travel, enjoyed the same music, same education, about the same age, both divorced with no kids. It was a great start until... I did my research, found his Facebook profile fairly quickly to find pictures with his wife and eight-year-old daughter. Lovely. Or the guy who claimed he lived in Florida near me, wrote to me online, and then after many back and forth emails, a little review of his life showed me that not only didn't he own the five-bedroom house on the Florida Gulf, Buddy had just moved in with his girlfriend for what looked like they were dating for many years on his Facebook profile. 
in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. On his page, he talked about her as his love and how his life couldn't get better and how he was so happy about their move. Not to the five-bedroom house on the Florida Gulf, but from one North Carolina city to another. Along with pictures of how proud he was after she had recently received her doctorate degree. And this is where we began, because it was that subject line that I used when I called him out with the pictures from his Facebook page. Do you hurt women for sport? Pretty powerful. And his response? Yes, there really was a response. I'm sorry. I was just bored. I never meant to hurt you. Bye. And I just sat there and remembered my last boyfriend, who basically did the same thing to me as these men are now doing to their ladies. He ventured online from boredom. He had too much free time, needed someone's attention, someone to talk to. So he trolled the dating sites. Where else can you find plentiful amounts of ripe women to create cyber fantasies with? You can get on there and become anyone you want. You can act like you have millions with no attachments and write to dozens of women all day long. You can get so close to them, like my old boyfriend did, and start texting them from work with good morning baby girl texts, which I later found, and it devastated me. Especially because we were looking at engagement rings. Nice, huh? So I wondered why some men need to have this constant stimulation. Why do they feel they need to have attention at every minute of the day? Someone to answer their texts and emails and notes online? We have become so addicted to instant online connections that it feels like an entitlement now. But at what cost? When I learned about all the cyber contacts my boyfriend had made, I actually wrote to those women and let them know what was going on. I was livid, especially when all these random texts would pop up. How I came to learn about this entire fiasco was a text that popped up on his phone when he was in the shower. From a gal named Dawn. Hey babe, are you still up? I want to hear your voice before I go to sleep. So, even though I wanted to scream, somehow I calmly handed the phone to him when he got out of the shower. Oh, honey, I think Dawn is looking for you, I said. His nonsense was now out in the open. He was caught. The game was revealed. He was done. When you're looking at engagement rings and realize this whole thing was a lie, it really screws up your head. And it took me over a year to really recover from that heartbreak. And ultimately, in a letter, in a box filled with all kinds of thoughtful gifts which arrived a few months later, he admitted, I was just bored. I should have been speaking to you, but I spoke to them. It didn't mean anything to me. It was just something to do. So if you've watched until now, you have seen the turmoil men have perpetrated on innocent women who just want a man to love us. We women are floored when they use us this way. When they are bored, in need of attention. Oh, and I forgot the guys who carry on a pen pal string of emails forever with no intention of meeting. My boyfriend confessed that he would intentionally write women far enough away so when they got close to him, he could explain to them, Sweetheart, it will never work out. You can't move, and neither can I. We have our jobs. So these unsuspecting women waste months on a man who never had any intention of meeting them. So after this started happening more and more times than I care to admit, 
I was so irate, I decided to pull together a program to help my fellow ladies better understand how to play detective. I call it Dating Detective. I had always been an excellent researcher, but I had to learn how to step up my game with all this madness. I had to hunt and dig and find all the sites where the information I needed was hidden. To find online sites most of us don't even know exists, and how to dig deeply to extract what I needed to call these guys out on their cyber game. How to uncover his real name after you've connected a few times from the information he's given you. How important is it to get off the original site where you met him and encourage him to email you as quickly as possible? What kind of questions you want to ask so you can uncover his identity? I will teach you exactly how to do this so it will become second nature. That as soon as you're trading personal information and he's talking about getting together, even if he's just lying, you will have the strategy, the tools, and the skills you need to weed out the wannabes and no longer waste your time, your money, or even your heart. Because not only have I personally experienced these devastating losses, but I've seen many other women go through this by men who were just playing them with no intention of carrying forth on their carefully crafted plans. I spend a lot of time reintroducing myself every time someone promising comes along. And I do my best to go into that new connection with a pure motive, believing that he is real and available. And if we do get close to dating, I consider what I will wear, how I will reorganize my time to date him, choosing and sometimes buying a new outfit, shoes, handbag, etc. Getting a manicure and pedicure, doing my hair, my makeup, everything just right to impress. Only to later find out he's not available and has lied to me. So after having enough of this and teaching myself how to figure this out, I developed this program that will reduce another woman's heartbreak. I've developed the Dating Detective because it's for you. So you won't have to go through what I went through. I want you to take advantage of this program so you will be armed to do all your due diligence and stop the heartache caused by the cheaters, the liars, the adulterers, and the cyber trolls. But I also want you to know about some great bonuses I've prepared for you. Like my report on red flags, I call this report How to Identify Red Flags While Dating. How to spot the obvious signs that the person you are connecting with isn't who they say they are. Like when they tell you they are working overseas and their credit card isn't working and they need you to wire money for a plane ticket home. Or when they can't send you pictures because their phone isn't working right now. Or when you can't find anything online about them. Or when they won't connect with you at night, only during the daytime. That's a sure sign that they are married or attached. After all, it's pretty hard to flirt with you when they're putting the kids to bed or spending the weekend with their wife. Another powerful bonus is an extensive list of questions that you can ask to extract information so you can start digging and doing your research. I call that questions you must ask before you date him. In this report, not only do I give you the exact questions to ask, but I give you follow-up questions based on his probable answers. Your job is to respond to a man's contact in a certain way so you can gain the information you need. If he blows you off because you are inquisitive and requiring additional information from that on his profile, that's easy. He's a fraud. Delete. Next. Because any man who is interested in exploring whether you are the one for him, 
will have no problem sharing more about himself. My next bonus is a cheat sheet of sorts, so you can keep track of the information you do find on each guy. I call it the Dating Detective Evaluation Sheet. As you move forward and start to gather information from him, either through back and forth online chats and emails, you will need this sheet to keep track of all the information you find on each guy who contacts you. After all, we need to be organized. It will help you as you work through your research. One sheet for each guy who contacts you and whom you have an interest. So in my dating detective system, you will receive how to be your own dating detective, how to spot the red flags, questions you must ask before you date him, and the dating detective evaluation sheet. Now, I believe I know what you must be thinking, because I felt this way too. Yes, I know, it pisses you off that you need to go through all this just to find the love of your life. Yes, I get that. It absolutely sucks, doesn't it? But if you don't want to be suckered like I have been, and if you don't want to waste any more hours writing and developing a relationship online only to find out he's a fraud, and if you don't want to fall prey to these trolls and predators who dream up cyber personalities and fantasies which can string you along for weeks and months with no chance of meeting, then you owe it to yourself to get my program with all its bonuses. Once you teach yourself these skills, it will be easier and easier to jump quickly on these sites and find out if he's telling you the truth. And ultimately, if he is real and available to date you, and you feel he's worthy of you, you can continue. But if he is married, separated, or attached in any way, or simply a cyber troll looking for attention, then you can drop him and give him a piece of your mind if you decide to. So click the button below and get immediate access to my program and bonuses so you can become your own dating detective. I will teach you step by step how I found the detailed information on these players so I could get rid of them fast, thus alleviating a lot of pain, suffering, questioning myself as to what I did wrong, downgrading my own self-esteem when I did absolutely nothing wrong. I simply stumbled upon someone who didn't have pure intentions. And no, it's not fair. But then again, neither is life. But to be more aware, more prepared, and more on your game, you need to know how to weed out the men who do not have your best interest at heart. So, you're probably wondering what all this will cost. You might think it would be several hundred dollars, considering the extensive information. Not to mention all the money you will save on clothing, shoes, purses, hairstylists, manicures, pedicures, gasoline, taxi fares, babysitters, time, energy, and money. And let's not forget about all the money you've spent for the therapist or buying your friend's dinner while you cry in your soup after he's broken your heart. Not to mention making you feel like an absolute fool. So what should that cost? I asked myself. Well, let's look at the dating site subscriptions, the manicures and pedicures, the hairstylist fees, so the coloring, the cutting, the blow dry, the extensions if you wear them. Oh, how about money you've bought for new clothing? Maybe you decided to buy a new dress, shoes, purses gasoline or taxi fares to get there and come home, babysitter fees if you have children, time, your energy, your money, your therapist sessions because things went wrong, the best friend you needed to buy dinner for because she's consoled you. All of these things add up to thousands and thousands of dollars. 
When you start to realize just how much you invested in dating each month and each year, it's big money. So if you changed how you date so that you only date men you have researched with the dating detective system, not only will you not get caught up in this nonsense, but you will save yourself money and heartache. And isn't that a nice thought? You will carefully and quickly get the answers you need and determine the men from the boys. You will be in the driver's seat, accepting dates only from men you know are available for a relationship. Now, after you meet them, you might realize they aren't your cup of tea. And that's fine. But at least you know going in that he's available. And who knows, he might actually turn out to be your next great love. And wouldn't that be wonderful? So having looked at all the costs involved in dating, both financially and emotionally, I'm sure you agree it's quite a valuable tool to have in your hip pocket. But you're not going to pay $497, although people I've spoken to said that was well worth the price of reduced heartache. You're not even going to spend $297, not even $197. Instead, as my way of helping you to find just the right real person for you, I am offering this entire program for a one-time payment of $67. One payment only of $67. You can't even go to one therapy session for that. With a 60-day money-back guarantee, you have everything to gain and nothing to lose. So click the button below and dive in and learn the strategies and links to sites that will confirm or deny whether he is telling you the truth about himself. Do it now. Don't wait. You know you need this. And remember... If for any reason you aren't satisfied with this program or its bonuses, if it hasn't opened your eyes to what you need to do and learn to effectively guard your heart, wallet, energy, and time against these dishonest men, then simply let me know and I will immediately return your funds no questions asked. You get 60 days to ask for a full refund, for whatever reason. So, as you can see, there is nothing to lose and everything to gain. Click the button below now and you will receive my Dating Detective System and its bonuses sent immediately to your email to download and start using within moments of ordering. I look forward to the knowledge you will gain, the heartache you will not endure, and the money you will not lose on conniving online players and trolls. This is your time. This is your opportunity. This is your chance to arm yourself while dating. See you on the other side. And welcome.